Hi, we've got Andrew Hebel here from the Australian Association of Convention Bureaus. Andrew, what's happening in your world? Well, the, the industry are rallying at the moment. Uh, as we know, there's a, a federal election just about upon us. Uh, yep. we're, we're predicting in May. And um, look, we, we're just trying to get together to, to influence smart uh, investment and, and policy decisions. And how are we doing that? Well, again, it's about coming together. It's about having a common platform. Um, we're very, uh, very excited and uh, and proud of uh, the the announcement last year around a, a federal bid fund that was was announced, and um, and Tourism Australia doing a great job in administering that that fund. We'd love to see that uh, increase, and I think the whole industry supports that. And um, you want to talk about increasing? Are there any special avenues you want to take on that you're going to increase that? Um, look, I think at the end of the day, uh, the rest of the world is becoming a lot more competitive and there are more destinations out there than before. Yeah. So there's always that pressure to do more with less um, and it's about being very strategic. So it's about partnering with government on, on uh, bidding for the right uh, international events to come into the country and bring the right global exp experts that, that accompany those events. So is the AACB uh, a link to government? Uh, well, we've been uh, now positioned in Canberra for, for three years. Okay. Um, so uh, the opportunity to speak with department staff and uh, politicians and their support teams uh, has just been so much simpler uh, to get into the ear of government um, and, uh, and raise the profile of the sector. So we'd like to say that, um, that uh, we're at their doorstep and, um, and can simply respond at short notice. So, just a lot of knocking. Something like that. <laughs> My knuckles are there. Yeah, exactly. And what are the members, the convention bureaus, what can they do to help you further? Oh, look, again, it's about coming together. I think it's a uh, unified voice, um, which the convention bureaus have been doing for over 30 years now. So, um, and again, the broader industry, it's coming together with the other sectors of the, of the industry with a uh, common goal. And with your uh, AACB hat on, um, how are you managing the uh, regional conferences and convention bureaus? Well, look, from our perspective, we're very supportive of regional dispersal. So whether that means actually holding uh, events in region, like uh, what Destination New South yeah. Wales is doing at the moment, uh, Business Events Victoria have been doing for some time, uh, or whether that's uh, trying to spread out the impact of the international conferences coming into our big cities. Very supportive, and, uh, and that's an area certainly that we have on our agenda with um, speaking with both government and opposition. Uh, and where do you think the industry is going to go in five years? Gee, well, I think, you know, undoubtedly technology and, uh, you know, adaption to new technology and being agile is the course of the future. So um, being able to be more strategic in terms of the bids that are being procured, um, they're, they're probably the top two things. Um, and look, we've got some of the world's best in Australia in this um, industry based here doing those things right now. Um, we've just got to keep the momentum up so that we can continue to be on top. Yeah, excellent. And what are some of your challenges? Oh, look, uh, none, none, right? none. <laughs> I'd like to say none. Um, look, at the end of the day, um, you know, as with any small association, you know, we've got to uh, bat very hard to, to get any recognition. But I think we overcome that by uh, consistent messaging. Um, it's not about banging down doors. It's about simple and honest conversations. And, and I think that's our strength. Excellent. Thank you very much for your time, Andrew. No worries. Cheers.